Tony Pulis, yeah, uh, not a fan of the uh, of the international break. Of course, Albion were only back for uh, for three weeks, um, and four games before going away. Before he, he obviously loses half his squad again, to go away on international duty. Um, whether this international break uh, comes at a bad time for Albion, no, I'm not so sure. Um, I think it's a time for uh, Pulis to you know perhaps uh, reflect on uh, on the past. Uh, Past couple of results, which have obviously been uh, been hugely disappointing. Obviously, the main concern for Albion with the international break is players who are going away or are carrying knocks. Gareth McCall has been past fit uh, for Northern Ireland. Of course, he uh, plays with the pain barrier on Saturday at Crystal Palace with a calf problem. Johnny Evans being assessed uh, day by day, limped off with a hamstring at Sellers Park. Michael O'Neill, the Northern Ireland manager, says he will not make a decision until Thursday morning. So there's uh, a lot of discussions between. Um, Northern Ireland and Albion at this stage uh, as to what happens with Evans and James Morrison who suspended for Scotland's game with Poland on Thursday anyway uh, has, uh, has got an ankle injury uh, again that's uh, a day by day assessment uh, the interesting one uh, perhaps to keep an eye on for next week is Solomon Rondon uh, he's travelled with uh, Venezuela or travelled to Venezuela for, uh, for two big uh, World Cup qualifiers against Paraguay and Brazil. Uh, the second of which does not take place until 2am British time next Wednesday. Now Rondon, who uh, was doubtful for the Palace game with a back problem, still hasn't entirely shaken that off. Now uh, sitting on a plane for 10 hours probably isn't going to do his back uh, too much good. And of course Albion won't get to see him uh, probably now until next Thursday, uh, just 48 hours before the, uh, the game with Sunderland at the Hawthorns. Well, they have to make a judgment on his fitness. Uh, that's it for now. See you next time.